Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is next video in this series. We are making inventory management system. And in this video, we are going to focus a little bit on the user interface. In the previous videos, if you have watched, you can see that we have created the database in Microsoft SQL Server. And we have linked that with Microsoft Access. So we will continue from here and we will work on the user interface and queries from this video onward. If you are interested, then I would suggest that you watch until the end and um, also make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Right, so what are we going to do? You can see that there are a couple of tables already created and these tables, this little blue color icon, it indicates that these tables are from the external database. They are not from this particular file itself so you can see that uh, the intelligence is telling the address of uh, the database from where these tables have come from so what we are going to do first of all we are going to work on the dashboard so i have already created a blank form is considered as a dashboard now on this we will set up a little menu a list box a search and one or two buttons uh, more as well and we will kind of sort of set the skeleton and uh, then from there we can keep developing the individual form for uh, these tables so that's what we are going to do in this video that we are going to set up the uh, dashboard uh, and then from there we will take it so as you can see that the dashboard a blank form is open so i would like to have a uh, probably a rectangle here a little bit colored rectangle and then on on top of the re rectangle I would like to have some buttons and the list box uh, etc so let's go ahead and do that I will go to the design view and uh, let's minimize this and let's reduce the size of it maybe perhaps a little bit increase now let's take the rectangle so we'll go to the form design and uh, we will take the rectangle here we go and uh, we will drag and drop here okay let's give a color so maybe probably light to bluish uh, you can give any color if you wish to do so um, and let's go to the form view now and let's see that there is a rectangle here but the problem is now this form is open and it's bigger uh, I want this rectangle to be expanded uh, alongside the form size. So let's uh, go back to design view and the rectangle is already selected. We'll go to the property sheet and the format and in here vertical anchor instead of top will say both. Another thing I would like to do is get rid of the border of this rectangle. So we'll go to the shape outline and we will make it transparent. Now let's save it. Now if I'll go to the form view you can see that the rectangle is actually all the way from the top till bottom so that's what i wanted now we'll have a couple of buttons here on the side and uh, let's go ahead and do that so we'll go to the form design uh, again under the control section we'll take the button okay and i don't want so let's cancel that and let's increase the size of the button now if if you are creating this you will be asking question okay what this button would do and that's a very very valid and very good question what this button would do as I said we will have a list box here the list box will be used to populate the data from the database either from the tables or from the queries that we are going to work on so but the whole purpose of the list box will populate the data now what data to be populated well, this will be based on the click event of these buttons on the side. So let's say I want to populate the data of the products. So I will have a button called products. And the moment as a user, I click on that button, the list box should po be populated with the products information. So first of all, let's start from the beginning. So we will start with the uh, customers and let's say manage customers okay I'll change the shape outline let's make it transparent 
you can change the color of this uh, button as well so we'll go to the form view and it looks a little better all right let's uh, and we'll give the name to this button so we'll say ptn customers customers okay now so this is done next we will make the button which will populate the information about the products so I'll simply copy this and paste it so manage products simple then I'll copy this again we'll paste it and then the product categories we can say product category manage products categories all right so this is also done so I'm just uh, selecting the forms uh, that are oh, sorry the buttons that are being created then we'll have purchase and purchase details we don't need to have button here because purchase detail itself is a sub form is going to be sub form and then sales uh, supplier transaction types so let's uh, go ahead and let's say manage suppliers okay so this is also done so I'll select that then purchase and then sale and transaction types so manage purchase and then manage sale and then manage transaction type okay now let's select these buttons and what I would like to do is change the font color so I'll go to the home and we'll change the font color to full black if I'll go to the form view again now we can see that these buttons are nicely put onto the menu of course these are not the uh, beautiful looking buttons we can although change the format we can add some have some icons which we'll have later on but you know nonetheless this is the basic menu system that you can create for the application now let's have one uh, list box here so we'll go to design view form design and under the controls we'll get the list uh, sorry this is combo box this is list box so we'll drag and drop okay uh, let's increase the width of it and it will say hey do you want to select anything we'll say nope and let's get rid of the label as well okay so I'll delete that now if I'll go to the form view now we can see that there is a list box but again as we have seen with the rectangle it's not going all the way until the bottom so let's change that let's select it we'll go to the form format and we'll say vertical anchor both and let's give a name so we'll keep the name just as a list because we are going to refer to this later on okay so that's it that's what we will uh, keep until here now if I'll go to the form view now you can see that this list box goes all the way down all right so that's very very important that we make sure that it is properly arranged now let's have a little search bar here let's have one button here which will be used for create search bar first of all for search bar we'll get the text box and uh, the label we will get the label and we'll put it right on the top of the list box and we'll say search a record so this is what this uh, text box will be used for let's change the color of the text and the size of the text so we don't need to see uh, this text to be bigger all right let's select both and we'll change the color to black then we'll have a button here which will be used to create records all right so we'll copy and I'll paste and we will just give the caption as create later on we will change dynamically that what kind of records to be created what form should be opening well when clicking on this create button okay let's give a name of this text box also so txt search all right okay now let's go to the form view now we can see that we have a little menu with some buttons 
and we have create button search bar and the list box so we have done the skeleton now once we are we are done with the skeleton the next move is we click on this button and the respective information from the query or the table flows and populate onto this list box so this journey will continue for a couple of more videos in which we will work on the user interface and i think this is the essential part of the application so for this video we'll stop here we'll in the next video we'll continue and we'll put some vb code or we'll just pause for the vb code and we'll first build the each individual form i think that's the way and then we will uh, map it with these buttons and populate the information on this list box so exciting exciting stuff is coming up and if you have learned something from this video please make sure that you like and um, like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video that's it for this video we'll see you in the next one